the obstacles of the love of Radha and Krishna are wanted in such a way that there is some service possible. Because if Radha and Krishna are always together in harmony and there's nothing else but they're floating in their own relationship, then what is the need of any service? But because Vrindavan Dham is the Dham of loving exchanges, Radha and Mohan are inviting all living entities to their beautiful service in their love. So that's why there are so many servants, manjaris, who are always greedy after the rasika happiness of Radha and Mohan. And they are always in their company. They are my very life and the necklaces around my neck. May they always dwell in my heart. So first, Naratom Das Thakur speaks about his loyalty to his beloved deities. Radha Krishna Pranapati <coughs> That is what Gurudev also says to us. It is the beginning that we have nishta, firm faith in our beloved Radha Mohan. That is the beginning of all loving relationships. We need to develop faith and love and loyalty and hope whenever there's difficult times also not to give up. This is the basic pillars of any relationship. What to speak about the divine couple and our relationship to them. The goal of the Gaudiya Vaishnavas is Radha Dasya, Manjari Bhav. This is the merciful gift of Sriman Mahaprabhu and the dear most subject preached by the six Goswamis, headed by Sri Rupa and Sanatana. According to the Goswami, this is the greatest and most extraordinary goal of life. This is the highest relationship that a jiva is invited to have to Srimati Radhika and her beloved. And this is the highest step on the staircase of advancement in or to the spiritual kingdom that any jiva can ascend to through their sadhan bhajan. Amazing, huh? That we have the chance to enter into that as humble aspirants. We have the chance by the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, by the mercy of Nita. In this Kali Yuga, this has, you know, it's been is offered to us. It's like in a presence. It's possible to attain this highest, highest uh, relationship to the divine that any jiva can have. Radha Krishna Pranapati means that Sri Radha Rani is the goddess of the Vaishnavas, the Gaudiya Vaishnavas hearts, and taking shelter of her lotus feet is their shelter at Sri Krishna's lotus feet. Taking shelter of Srimati Radhika is my shelter to Krishna, to his service, through her service. When taking shelter at the lotus feet of a bona fide guru, the Gaudiya Vaishnava Sadaka becomes acquainted with his or her Siddhaswaru, the spiritual body as Sri Radha's maidservant or Manjari, along with an introduction to her eleven-fold spiritual identity, the name, the age, the complexion, and the dress, 
and so on. So we heard, Gurudev, that today you were giving uh, initiation to that lovely, sweet girl, Prema Bhakti Dasi. So initiation is the beginning. It's the first step until and unless we realize our Swarup. And that is the process that is what Gaudiya Vaishnavism is about. And everything else that maybe took us 10, 20, 30, 40 years to find out is like a purification that was needed for this soul to come to the lotus feet of Srimad Radhika. But here Baba is saying that we have the chance to become introduced to our spiritual body, to our spiritual form, and to our relationship by the mercy of Rupa and Sanatana and by the mercy of our Sri Guru. So the Raga Bhajan, that is the Bhajan which is felt with spontaneous attraction. Raga means spontaneous or loving relationship in a, in a very active and loving way. Their Raga Bhajan pivots or centers around this internal worship involving meditation on and establishing a self in steam in this Svarup. So usually we were chanting Hare Krishna with a general understanding for many, many years I did that I am a servant of the Divine Lord and I am serving and that is my eternal nature. Jivera Svarupa Hoy. The Svarup of the eternal living entities is a Nitya Das, an eternal servant to the Divine. But that understanding and that Feeling in itself is not enough to enter into the loving service of Shimati Radhika. Because it is more a general understanding that we are a soul and that it's a beginning. It's a very good beginning. I remember when I was distributing Srila Prabhupada's books in my teeny age years, then I always prayed to Lord Chaitanya. And I prayed. Please let me be the instrument of your desires. Let me connect the, all the souls with Prabhupada's books, with Krishna consciousness. That was very nice. That was a beautiful service and a good start for this soul to do something good. But then if we want to enter Raga Bhajan, we need to know what is our relationship what is our feeling that we have as a servant of Srimati Radhika? That is raga, that is spontaneous, that is not done by rituals. It comes from the heart. And that heart has been or is being purified to be ready to go in that direction and serve in that direction. And what is this raga bhajan? Here Baba says it is this internal worship internal, inner, involving meditation on and establishing a self-esteem in this Svarupa, self-esteem. That means, okay, I have a sadaka body. I was, you know, living my life so many years in that, in that, in that uh, understanding of myself. Then I find out that I am a spirit soul. Wow, I can somehow, you know, live in a completely different self-esteem now. I am eternal. I am immortal, as we heard yesterday. And Gauravani Pro was explaining so lovingly, as he always does. Wow, I am immortal. Means I, this life that will be finished at one time, it will go on. There will be another, you know, chance to be a human or maybe also a plant or an animal, there's many possibilities, or a demigod, 
in other higher planetary systems, you know, the Vedic cosmology is very uh, advanced and has deep understandings of all the different residences of these eternal souls who are traversing by according to their desires, according to their karma. But of course, now that I found out I am eternal soul, I many also feel it. I want to get out of this cycle of birth and death. I want to have my highest, you know, destination. So welcome to Radharani's service. In that world where every step is a dance and every word is a song. If you are desiring for this, we are here at the right place with the right people, with the right Dasis of Srimati Radhika who are helping us. My Shiguru is a Dasi. She is a maidservant and she is helping other maidservants to find their eternal self and self-esteem. That is the highest level, the highest planet in this whole you know, universe and many, many millions of universes of possibilities. And now how to develop that internal worship and establishing a self-esteem in that Raga Bhajan. That is very nicely explained now. And I love to share this. I love to read this together with all of you. Because, of course, we hear this often. If we want to listen, Every day we can hear it by the mercy of all the Vaishnavas sharing. It. But until and unless I feel it, I have a realization. It doesn't help so much just to know about it in theory. My goal is to feel it, to connect with it, and to gradually make advancement for the pleasure of Sri Radha Mohan, Sri Mati Radhika, who can use me as an instrument. I want to be ready to be used, although I'm very slow and I feel very fallen and I feel very blocked. But my desire anyway is to somehow come closer to the direct self-esteem of Astasi of Srimati Radhika by the mercy of all the Vaishnavas, Gurudev and of course Srimati Radhika herself. So again, how to get the self-esteem in the eternal self as a small dasi, a transcendental, beautiful girl that is, you know, almost feeling like Srimati Radhika herself. She feels everything. Why? Because she is wanting to serve. So she becomes one with the feelings of Srimati Radhika. And that is a process that comes by internal meditation and by developing the self-esteem, that self-identity and giving up all these worldly ego and uh, different, different identification. That is the process of Raga Bhakti by internal meditation. And I, I find this, uh, very nice, this purpose, because Baba is telling us now about the scriptures. There are many scriptures, Vedic scriptures. And they tell us about Bhuta Shuddhi. <coughs> that is the process of purification of our existence. And it means meditating upon oneself in general as a spirit soul, the servant of God. So that is the beginning to, to yeah, see myself and feel myself as a servant and that mm, I am a spirit soul. But then it, uh, how do you say, it progresses to become more personal. Because that understanding, I am a spirit soul, is like a general understanding. And that is also a very great happiness. That is very good. Sometimes devotees come to Vrindavan, to Munge Rajmandir, and Gurudev says, he or she, they are in soul consciousness. They are feeling that they are the eternal personality. 
as a servant of the divine love. And that is very, very great. And that is already so much mercy to come to that level <clears throat> that I don't identify myself anymore as just like a body or like a, you know, material personality. Yes, good if. Bhuta Sudhi, one time I am listening, the Bhuta means ghost. Hmm. <laughs> In Srimad Bhagavad, there are eight types of Bhutas who capture us. One Bhuta, somebody captured, then what happened to them? <laughs> <clears throat> that person, if one ghost catches to us, a type of soul is catching us. That is Bhuta. One minute, bye. Rade. Bhuta. And a type of ghost is catching. So a type of our conditions are there to know my soul. A type of ghost is covering us. There are different, different layers. In Srimad Bhagavat, if you see, is I don't want to bring there, but these layers make us not to know my soul. Even. Only the way to make easy is a relation. The soul has to develop relation with his today. Then Bhuta cannot disturb us. Mm. Only way. If we will clean out the Bhuta, again Bhuta will catch us. Mm -hmm. So easiest way Mahaprabhu give us to develop relation and you are free from the Bhuta. Jai Ho! That is Bhuta Sudhi. Two minutes. One Bhuta, one ghost catch, then is a big problem. Mm. If ghosts are catching us, do not to be identify my reality that I am a soul. My relation is with you. This is Bhuta plate inside us. Many people say, this is my previous practice, so I do this. No, no, no. It's a Bhuta. You become more powerful there. I don't remember that this is not my way. So I don't remember, but if you say, I can explain you from that book. It's in Hindi book. Maybe Prabhupada also mentioned about Buddha. He's coming in the Srimad Bhagavad. Yeah, I was I was researching a little bit about that, Gurudev. And the Buddha Shuddhi usually is a, it's called a purifying process of getting rid of uh, other identifications. That is easiest way not to meditate in this Sudhi, only develop relation, your Bhuta is Suddha. Jai Ho! Divine power will make pure everything. That is the reality of our life. Relation with Isra will make your Bhuta Suddha. If not, then it will be problem will never go leaving to me. Yes. No. Yes. We will do what nothing to do. No result of that. Some benefit thing we will do. That is also one Buddha. What is my self benefit? I don't know. Is also one Buddha. Many Buddhas are captured us. Pradera. Jai, thank you, Gurudev. This, this, this is the deep point that 
don't waste my time with any kinds of getting rid of former, you know, identifications, trying to and overcome. One by one, take 10 years to yeah. remove Buddha. Yes. And again, one by one, to coming back to you, because they are old friends. Yes. These layers and coverings, they are, you know, what we identify right now with. But Gurudev says in all the Vaishnavas, our Acharyas, they say, just identify yourself now from the very, you know, point that you are coming to right now to be a servant of Srimati Radhika. And also Baba is mentioning it right now because by relation, we develop feelings and these feelings will guide us in the further direction and not let us live in the past. And Bhuta Sudhi, more what Bhutas are there, um, Jananda Maharaj knows about that. I don't mm. remember. Mm. Do you remember? No, no, I But I, if you want, I can say how many Bhutas are there. <laughs> and really, I was checking, really these are the Bhutas. My God, yeah, they are. The faults, like a false identification that cover us so much. Eight type, eight type of covering something. Yeah, it's called the, the purification of existence. But yeah, why should I waste the time, Gurudev, with the old stories that I cannot overcome? So I, I fix and I focus on my relation with Srimati Radhika, right? Is that oh, right? Oh, yeah, oh, this is, <laughs> I guess you want to do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Gurudev, for making then, this clear to us. Don't go to the Ranbo, then he become angry to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he said, no, he revenged me. Why? He said, no. I like the best place, Rambo. I said, okay. You don't see, I know. So you have to see that. So people, whole life they use to check the Bhutas. Bhuta will not disturb me. Are bhaiya. <laughs> One Bhuta cannot manage ever. And eight Bhutas, when eight ghosts are sitting inside me to cover myself, we understand, my dear. Hello, Derek. You are <laughs> here, my dear. Hello. <laughs> okay. So, Bhuta Suddhi is very important. And one easiest way, easiest way, only to develop relation with his Dev. And Guru Dev is not a goal. Guru Dev is a navigator who show you the goal, who can bring you to the right place. But why navigator Guru? Why not goal? Are you need always navigator? You cannot change the goal. When you reach the goal, then you go ahead in your siddha there. What is to, how to navigate? Then you need that goal. So the goal is going higher and higher. Radha, Radhika is my goal. Okay. Put the uh, goal to Radhika. But how you can see the Radhika without your Manjari Saru? <coughs> How you will relate with Krishna if Krishna will come? You will <laughs> relate like a Manjari or Sakhi or Gopi. How you will relate? If you are not as high in your Manjari bhav, you cannot relate. Mm. That is the point, Guru. Yeah, you cannot relate. You cannot relate. You have to be as Thai. Then what is the, my, the second position? My sarup has to be fixed in one point. 
After that, again, one more thing comes, then what to do? Prem is the prayojan. Always live in the bhavna sati to serve how they are feeling and how to develop their feeling. You see, growing or not. That is the point, Gurudev, to check in myself also and to always be in the good association. If navigator is not there, who will show me the bhavna sati? No one. Sanjari and Radha and uh, how to relate with Krishna as a manjari. I will relate like Sakhi or Gopi. If I don't know, then I will become Gopi and Sakhi. So, a navigator is always necessary. Go, you have to one time, Guru Dev will say, now this is your move. Go on. And we have to walk. No, no, no. We say the Guru is the goal. Now he has to walk. And he <laughs> he will never Doesn't walk. work like this, no. Never work like this. I have to walk for my goal. Then my progress will come. I have to stop look, thinking and looking material thing. We have to do Sanjani bhav. We have to work, but without attachment. Why not to work? I give Harinam to Chan. I give her name, Prem Bhakti. What is your name? Chan. So I say Prem Bhakti Chan. So <laughs> <laughs> she understand Prem Bhakti Chandrika. Jai Ho! <laughs> but, Jai Prem Bhakti, start. but Prem Bhakti understand life will change. Yes. If Prem is not there, Bhakti is not there, what is the use of taking birth? Right, my dear? Then goes you give place to dance and hide. Be careful, my dear. Develop relation. If you are assigned with, if you have relation with Krishna, no problem. He will show you the way. And if you, you, you Krishna show you the, um, the highest radhika, then go on with that. No problem. But both of them, one has to come in life. And it's not bad. When you go to the Radha Bhakti, then you have to not to stop thinking for Krishna. He will play game not to fix in Radha. That time you have to stop thinking. He will come in dream. Then you have to stop thinking to him in dream also. Wake up that time when he come in Krishna. Don't. No, I don't need you now. Please help me to meditate in my song. This has to be the one point. Who will show me without my guru? Nobody can show you. Nobody is interested that you grow your spiritual life. Only mercy of his mercy that it makes me to develop hope. Step by step, what he do, he had to go that point. Radhe, read, sorry. I... Radhe, good if thank you. You give us this medicine into the heart, yeah. immediately to the heart. Yeah. So meditating on one Siddhasvarup, eternal yeah. spiritual form and relation. Siddhasvarup is. is not Radhika, your uh, Sarup. My and the, yes. the second Guru Dev showed me, Are you got the your Sabni? Now, second stage, you meditate in your Siddhas My God, I have to meditate in me. <laughs> Whole life I do. No, no, not you do. 
<laughs> in your senses, before you are meditating in selfishness, in your material body, also. now you meditate in your senses. What is going to move for senses? Wow, this is Guru Krupa. This is really mercy, yes. And we need to be around those who are doing that practice, then it will be more intense and more easy. How to know? If I don't listen, I will never know. Hmm. It's a new subject when I first time you listen. You have to listen on and on, that it becomes my subject. Because I listen so many material things on and on, that it becomes a subject. If you have a one line, I said to make other line, one line bigger than this line. Oh. What you will do? Same line you will make bigger. I will make other lines side by side. And say this is the bigger line. So we have to make side by side bigger line. Yes, that is the point. We have to create new samskaras, new goals, and make them very thick. Bigger than that old line. Bigger that than the old samskaras, yes. That is the point. Otherwise it doesn't work. No. I will only make my line bigger. What is the use, my dear? I am giving more goals to come and sit on me. Cover me. Yeah? Yes. Oh, sorry, I disturb you. No. <laughs> no. You're blessing me. You're blessing me. I love to see you excited I because I like this excitement. I need your blessing. You see, you are higher and I'm lower stage. You can check. <laughs> ah, she has, she has. I'm disappearing. <laughs> and I'm a student of it. Please believe me. A yeah. very fallen Gurudev. Any True. kind of 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 uh, please chastise me, but never glorify me. That uh, is the worst. The worst no. I like to hear. I see every place to my Gurudev. Yes. Bless you, give me. I feel this. all teaching is his teaching. <laughs> That is your mercy for us who are trying I to do our little steps. But this is the honesty. I never, I don't know, I have no qualification. Go on, please. Meditating on one Siddhasvaru and establishing one's self esteem in this is the real Buddha Shuddhi of the Gaudiya Vaishnavas. Jai Ho, that is what Gurudev was explaining. We don't think about the past, we don't live in the past, we are living in the presence of our service to Srimati Radhika by the mercy of Sri Guru. That is the purification and that is the process. Second, second process, one is Mahishtadev, Yes. One is Sarup. You see, uh, more will come. Nishta Nishta, Swarup Nishta. Uh, then Guru Nishta comes. Before Guru Sada is there, Guru Sada, I see only material body Guru. I mm. don't believe that he has also a spiritual body. Without my Sarup, I cannot see him. I see the plastic body man, crazy, uh, something he don't know, not qualified like me. Ah, oh, okay, I respect, but it's nothing. Believe me, this is the happening. Without Sarupness, it's not happening. East Nesta is the first seed, then Sarup Nesta. And then the Guru Nishta will grow in another direction. Because that I want to see my Gurudev as a spiritual Dasi, and that I feel my connection in this feelings. Then Guru Nishta will come 
then he will become Nityananda. That's Every all. He is there. Under any type, any time. You see the Scorn book? Page 11, read. Under any type, bar any Inside outside. Inside and outside. Where I see is Nithai, material or spiritual, all is Nithai. All direction is Nithai. Jai Ho, and then by Nithai's mercy, we can go to Ananga Mandri, to Rupa Mandri, to our services. Yes, That's yes, all uh, connected. Yeah, read. So, Meditating on one's Siddha Swarup and establishing one's self-esteem in this is the real Buddha Shuddhi of the Gaudiya Vaishnavas. Where you see how Buddha can come this body? This is Buddha Shuddhi. Are, how is today Buddha will go? And when you leave that body where is the Buddha sitting, you are Suddha. I hope this is Bhuta Suddhi that I come to my divine Saru. How yes. Bhuta come in that place? Those whose only goal of life is to serve God meditate on a spiritual body for themselves, which is an eternal associate of the Lord and which is suitable for serving the Lord. Wow. These are the, so from Bhakti Sandhava. My material body, not in Radhika. First I have to fix his still, then I have to meditate in my spiritual body. Mm -hmm. Second, also will come Radhika. Radha. This is navigator job. If my navigator will become gold, then how, who will teach me? We are stuck. Then we are stuck. Yes. There. Understand, Maharaj? Go on. So again, we are with Sri Jiva Goswami Bhakti Sandhaba. Devo mm. Bhutva Devam Yajet Nada Devo Devam Archayet. The Sadaka must become a god himself to worship the Supreme Lord. Yeah. <laughs> this is the Baba Deha or the Aprakrit Deha, which is mentioned in uh, our scriptures by our Chayas. The transcendental body must be there, otherwise, we cannot connect. To the divine couple, to Srimadiratika, to the service of Krishna, even. Mm. So, is a Prem Bhakti Chandrika? You see. Why I give you Prem Bhakti? To go to learn this book. Take the book Prem Bhakti Chandrika. This is your practice. And Gurudev, I found another very beautiful quote from Chaitanya Chaitamrita, where it says, Diksha Kale Bhakta Kore Atma Samapan Se Kale Krishna Tore Kore Atma Sam. Yeah. At the time of initiation, when a devotee fully surrenders unto the service of the Lord, Krishna yeah. accepts him to be as good as himself. Yeah. And then the next verse, Gurudev, you will love that too. Say deha kore tara chit anandamoy aprakrita dehe chandra charana bajoy. When the devotee's body is thus transformed into spiritual existence, 
The devotee in that transcendental body renders service to the lotus feet of the Lord. Yes. So we have to develop the, the feelings and also the, the esteem of our transcendental identity, which is being given to us when we assign with the Lord, when we fix, when we connect, and then later also all the details are given to us by Sri Guru, by the Dasi of Srimati Radhika. In that mood and in these feelings, we grow slowly but surely to reach the ultimate goal. <laughs> no, my daddy, come. <laughs> I want to introduce with Sunni teachings. <laughs> Derek. Yes. Brother, come on. Yeah. Sunni teachings. Iceland. Oh, <laughs> wow. Iceland. You are from Iceland, Derek? Ireland. 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 Sorry. Wonderful. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Ireland. You are, you are from Inspireland. Inspireland. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're all inspiring me. He is a great friend of the Mandaka. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, I love him. Yeah, let's I meet in Vrindavan. Yes, I, I will come this year. Wow. January, February. Wow, good. Then we meet also. We can sing and dance and have a lovely time with good if be happy yes hey uh, my derek you have to write us early to andaka or something because get then a good room. Your room please yes i will how many are coming you have to write it because for arch is very much devoted our time. yes yeah. thank you thank you yeah. Uh, again, huh? Yeah. All good. Those whose only goal of life is to serve God meditate on a spiritual body for themselves, which is an eternal associate of the Lord and which is suitable for serving the Lord. This is their true Buddha Shuddhi. In this regard, I also want to mention that by the mercy of Gurudev, we get the mantras, the Diksha mantras. And one side is for the Pancha Tattva, for Gauranga, Nityananda, Gadada, Advaita, and Srinivas. And to meditate how we serve them, that is the Navadviplila. And then also we get the mantras for Shimati Radhika, her Bija mantra, Kama Gayatri. Shri Guru as a Mandri Gayatri. We have so we have been so blessed that all this has been given to us to deepen our real relationship. And even we get a mantra for Rupa Manjari and for I don't want to say too much, you have to also find out for yourself. Radhi Radhi. <laughs> so in other words, okay, now wait a minute, I got mixed up. Don't worship the Lord without being a God yourself. These scriptural rules and prohibitions definitely show that the devotee who wishes to serve the Supreme Lord must think of his spiritual self in the form of an eternal associate of the Lord. Such a Gaudiya Vaishnava Pashara Deha or associate's body is Irada Kinkari or manjari body in other words shri radharani is the heart's goddess dearer the, to them than their own lives million of times over and shri krishna is the lord of their lives on the basis of the fact that he is the lord of shimati radhika's life so that is a very important understanding that needs to, that I am working on to deepen myself in building my spiritual self esteem and living more and more with all my emotions and all my desires in 
the spiritual identity. That is the sadhan, the practice, the spiritual practice in Raga Bhakti. And try to find someone who is helping with this, who is living this, who is meditating this, so that I myself can always be also in the flow of that service and in the flow of these feelings. We are blessed, Gurudev, that you are helping us and that your Gurudev is giving you to this world to do this, that you have been traveling, and that you are now there in Vrindavan waiting for all of us, calling us with your heart because you are doing the service for your Gurudev, for your Guru Mandra. It's so amazing that we are blessed to, you know, peek in that and to also associate and to go deeper in our feelings for the Radha Dasi. Again, I want to read, it's such a nice sentence. So, such a Gaudiya Vaishnava, their spiritual Parshada Deha or associate body is a Radha Kinkari or Manjari body. In other words, Sri Radha Rani is the heart's goddess. Dearer to them than their own lives millions of times over. And Sri Krishna is the lord of their lives on the basis of the fact that he is the lord of Sri Radha Rani's life. In this connection, Srila Thakur Mahashai Naratam Dastaku has used the words Radha Krishna Pranapati. Hence, Sri Yugalaki Shore is his Jivane Marane Gati, the supreme and only shelter both in this life and in the next. By using the words Radha Krishna Pranapati, the blessed author mentions his loyalty to his chosen deity by say, saying Jivane Marane Gati. He mentions his firm surrender to their lotus feet. In the words Jivani Morani Gati, he shows his surrender to the Sri Yugala in both Sadaka self esteem as well as in Siddha self esteem. So when he says Jivani Morani Gati, because sometimes I have also experienced myself, you know, how can I live in this material body when I try to be a spiritual manjari? How is this going to fit together? Am I still, you know, this human being? And how does it shift, you know, to these higher feelings of self? And he says here that in sadaka self-esteem, the sadaka thinks of himself I am a worshipper in Manjari Bhav. That is our Stai Bhav, our fixed, our, let's say, like the you know, base, basement of all feelings, of all readings, of all chanting, of all hearing. I am a sadhaka who is worshipping in Manjari Bhav and in the mentally conceived Bhava Deha. The transcend the body of transcendent the ecstasy, such a person is immersed in the flavors of meditating on the relishable service and sweetness of the Yuga Lucky Shore. Conceiving our, conceiving our, our mentally, day. yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Part is the third stage. First, we have to be Isadev, our Sarup, I am Manjari, Bhavala Srati, and then I have to meditate for Bhavdeva. Bhavdeva will come when I will start living in the feelings. Jai Ho Gurudev. The feelings, it will not come. Thank if you, Gurudev. Avas in my mind, it will never come. One yes. point, one pointed, one thing, Bhava there. Then it will, can wake up. Bah. Bhava there. Mixture of all stories will not come. Bhava. 
This wow. is the third navigation of Gurudev. Jai, thank you, Gurudev, for making this clear. Because sometimes I also had this conception of just receiving uh, initiation. It will be done like a magic wand. No, oh no, boom, you are manjari. No, it depends on my own sadhana, on my own meditation, on my own feelings. And uh, all mixed up feelings will never bring Bhav there. That is the point. One pointed meditation for Shamani and my Sarup. Other sarup also I want at the same time. How they are will not come. I have many other desires, personal, impersonal, and this and that, material. How they have will not come because how how it come is a feeling. Feeling can be only one pointed. Feeling not in hundred place and every place you feel the one feeling. Everybody cannot be your beloved, and everybody is not your husband, right? And who has a not? I have a husband means I know the form and everything. Is the is it like this? You cannot combine many things. Then how they have you not come? I know, yes, good. But I have no bhav there. Yes, that is my position. <laughs> hey, I know many things, but I want to live in my spiritual existence. That is our feeling or our prayer, right? But Gurudev says, "Oh, we cannot do it by being so branched in our, you know, all my feelings. I, I have to be one pointed." Bhuta Suddhi is not clear because mm -hmm. some Bhuta is catching us. Yes. Bring it to material work. What right. is many Buddha who bring to the not to do that I have to do it. <laughs> that is Buddha. So yeah, that is the point to get one pointed, to get focused, and to be like you know really someone who wants to reach their goal. We have to be like a you know. Very, very uh, uh, serious, convinced, and also, how do you say, consequent personality. Otherwise, it will always, you know, get lost by the influence of old habits, by the influence of old stories. And we have to fix on that point that we want to realize by the mercy of good association and also my own intention. It is that, no? these two fingers. How Mother Yashoda bind Krishna, my own desires and also the mercy of others. In that case, Shri Guru, Shri Radhika, and all the Vaishnavas. So, in the Sadaka self esteem, the Sadaka thinks of himself as I am the worshipper in Manjari Bhav. And in the mentally conceived Bahadeha, that comes when I conceive it, right? When my pot is clean, when my pot is open, when I become the, you know, reciprocal of creeper of mercy. And in the mentally conceived Bahadeha, body of transcendental ecstasy, one is immersed in the flavors of meditating on the relishable service and the sweetness of Radha Mohan. This is another wonderful condition of relish. Those who have even a slight experience with Manjari Bhav can understand that. And in this feelings, in this understanding, the Sadaka thinks, Sri Radha Mohan are my only shelter in life or in death. In life, they protect me from evil and bless me by giving me the good fortune of bhajan, rati, and prem. And in death they are so kind to bless me by giving me the service of their divine lotus feet, or if I am not suitable for that service, to the blessed, then they can keep me wherever they wish. Their wish will become my very life. These are also deep points. And I'm so much 
happy Gurdiv, thank you for guiding us and helping us to to catch the the you know the deep feelings and meanings of these points it's so important to have this guidance because only by reading the books i will never be able to to reach that it is a pure information but how the pure information can become realization that is the process and that's why we are so lucky we have these zooms and we have the chance to go to Vrindavan. So fast, I don't understand anything. I'm and sorry, Gurdiv. You know why? Because I think my time is over. <laughs> so, uh, 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 next day, we start. After, after Bhava Deha, we can do. Okay. We yes, start. we do next Tuesday. Thank you. <laughs> when? <laughs> because it's only one hour on Tuesday, so I'm like this. Sorry. <laughs> It's a very deep subject you take it. Mm. And why Bhutas are disturbing me? This is eight Bhutas making problems. They don't want to grow in this way. Because that way I will become godly. They I know, to, that is the point. <laughs> they want to develop their group. Both, sir. If I will not go in a spiritual life, then I will sure become ghost. Mm -hmm. So they want to increase that group, not uh, spiritual. Mm -hmm. Go to them. They want to develop the ghost group. Mm -hmm. Rather, thank you.